I'm Timothy Go with your Tech360.tv Tech Roundup this week. WhatsApp is upping its game in video calls. Previously, WhatsApp only allowed you to video call up to three people, which means having four of you in a video call at any one time. With its latest update, you can now have up to eight simultaneous callers. All WhatsApp video calls have secured end-to-end -end encryption to ensure the privacy of your calls. This is a great development for the in-app video calling feature. The update is released at a prime time as well, where more and more people are virtually communicating with their families or friends amidst the global COVID-19 pandemic. Now this makes WhatsApp a viable option next to popular apps like Facebook, Zoom, Skype, and all the others. Many companies are coming up with new features in their apps to combat the popular video calling app Zoom. Facebook is one of them, announcing that it will be releasing some new features, one of which is the Messenger Room. Messenger Room allows up to 50 users to video call all at once. The room creator can choose to add participants or keep the room public. Facebook says that this new feature is built with safety and privacy when they communicate with their friends or family. Messenger rooms are accessible via Messenger or the Facebook app. It will be launched in some countries first before a worldwide rollout. Despite Wi-Fi's six premature stage of a blowout, the development of the next Wi-Fi 7 is already on its way. Reports mentioned that Wi-Fi 7's maximum transmission rates can reach 30 gigabits per second, which is three times the maximum rate of the 9.6 gigabits per second for Wi-Fi 6. The developers also have plans to launch the CMU MIMO technology that supports up to 16 data streams, 8 lanes to 16 lanes, proper interstellar highway, and so much more. In addition to the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, Wi-Fi 7 will also support 6 GHz frequency band, and it will also be using 496 QAM signal modulation method. Robots are now being used to ensure even more stringent social distancing with Changi Exhibition Center now being converted to a community isolation facility. Food is distributed by ST Engineering's s -Trobo Tug Robots. That's not all, with PUB also deploying a talking autonomous robot to patrol Madoke Reservoir Parks and remind runners to keep a safe distance from each other. The robot will also be deployed at Pandan Reservoir and McRitchie Reservoir. Aside from just social distancing, sanitation is also important. More than 200 UV disinfecting robots made by local robotics firm PBA Group will be deployed by the end of the year to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. 